Hello and welcome to yet another shader pack review here on the shader packs channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at makeup ultra fast shaders. So makeup ultra fast shaders are actually shaders that are very well optimized performance wise. So they should be giving you very high FPS, but we're going to actually take a look at whether that is the case. If you're interested in videos like this one, then of course, be sure to give this particular one a thumbs up, subscribe for more videos like this one, and you can check out the actual review of this shader pack over on shaderpacks.net. So makeup shaders ultra fast are actually shaders that come with a lot of settings and a lot of presets. So you actually do not have to play around with the settings too much. You can just select the profile that you think will work best on your computer. You can do a little bit of testing. And if you think that a certain profile doesn't work very well, you can just lower it. Or if you have a lot of FPS with a certain profile, you can of course switch to a higher profile with better quality graphics. So what you get with makeup ultra fast shaders, if you set it to very high with two stars, which means that volumetric light is also enabled is a lot of actual high-end shader features. So you get waving leaves, waving grass, really good looking water. As you can see on screen right now, the sun will be very bright. It will look a lot like vanilla Minecraft, but if we actually look straight into it, it will become very bright. And if we're actually looking up into the sky anyways, let me tell you about the cool looking clouds that this pack has. I actually think they're pretty unique. They look like some of the clouds that we see in other packs, but I've never seen these exact clouds. So it's actually very unique. And if you enjoy these clouds, then that alone might be a reason for you to actually go with this pack instead of a pack like, for example, BSL shaders. On very high, there's also some other features that you will actually be missing when you switch to one of the lower presets, which is what we're gonna do now. I'm actually gonna switch the shader pack over to the lowest preset, which is called very low with one star. And then let's have a look at what that will actually do to the shader pack. As expected, most of the features that you were seeing earlier are now actually gone. You can't see any of them except for something that really stands out is the water. I still think that the water looks pretty good with this very low preset, but the most important thing about this preset is its performance. You're not going to be switching to the very low preset just to get really good quality image, you're actually going to switch to this preset because you want to be able to run Minecraft and play Minecraft and have shaders enabled. That is something that this shader pack can actually do. If you set it to very low, it should run pretty smoothly on some of the lower and older end systems. I've actually heard really great things about this pack uh, from people that actually run very old systems or low end systems. They were actually able to run this shader pack pretty smoothly. I mean, it's still probably not as good as some of the other shader packs. For example, Yo FPS is a shader pack that outperforms this one. So there are better shader packs for low end PCs, but when it just comes to performance for a shader pack that also has a very high preset that looks beautiful, this is very impressive. And because I've just shown you the lowest setting possible for this shader pack, I also wanted to show you the opposite side of the settings menu, which is the extreme with three stars profile, which will give you this. It will look totally beautiful with depth of field and some other really cool visual effects. And the crazy thing is that it still performs really well on my system. So I have a pretty good system, but it's really, really cool to see a shader that is maxed out, still run very smoothly, and this is still very playable FPS. So if you have a high-end PC, this can also be a beautiful shader, as well as for people that actually run very low-end systems. So that is something that I haven't seen with a lot of other shaders, and I wanted to emphasize with this one, because of the cool presets menu, you can actually switch to a preset that will work for your PC, and this shader pack should work on pretty much any PC for that reason. So that's been it for this shader pack review. This was Makeup Ultra Fast Shaders. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, of course, scroll down a little and press that thumbs up. I would sincerely appreciate that. Thank you guys for making me reach 20 subscribers on the channel. That is pretty cool. I didn't expect to reach 20 subscribers this soon, so I really want to thank you guys for uh, making that possible. Like I said, check out shaderpacks.net for a full review of all of the shaders that you see on this channel. And then last but not least, I will of course catch you in the next shader pack review. Bye bye.